whole bunch of the lyrics are way better than ha. <laughs> He's ready. <laughs> I'm making vlogs now. Say that one more time. Hi. Yo. Back to this album. Is there any? Is there any like little sneak preview you can give us, or maybe give a hint? I mean, I've already heard it. I've already got the pleasure to hear some of it. But for the people yeah. that have it, is there any, like any little music you can play for us or features? What they can look forward to? Um, just like banger after banger after banger. I actually got two albums, but like the one I'm gonna drop is just pure bangers, like back to back to back. So, um, I, me and my brother James basically did produce the whole shit, and um, I got some a lot of stuff from Mustard. Uh, my homie Cardo gave me one. My homie Pop from Philly, and uh, other than that, you know me. I, I brought out the string section. Um, whole bunch of the lyrics are way better than all the songs I've ever put out. Like I was like really focusing on you know going in on my lyrics, and uh, just I, I noticed a lot of people put out music and shit, and like it'll just be hella random. Like make sure all my lines are like they meant something and they hit home. So it's pretty crazy. Yeah. And uh, as far as uh, features go, you guys know I got a lot of a lot yeah, of Yeah, I, I love that you're taking. I've done a lot of favors for a lot of people. Are still putting and uh, people are starting to bless back. So this album is crazy, like with the feature lineup for sure. Hold up. I'm fucking, I'm trying to get this shell right. That shit won't. Woo, that shit look good, boy. Hold up. I don't know why he's not coming up here. Hi, sorry. It's all good. I'm just getting these shells together. My shells are kind of messed up. This one broke. It's tough. <laughs> it's hard. Look at my blue light shells. Taco Bell would fire me in a heartbeat. Oh, wow. They're I broken. don't know if you see, no, their shells ain't real. <laughs> <laughs> When was, the, when was the original date that you had to drop your album? <coughs> um, like this month. Oh, damn. And and now we're going to have to wait a lot for <laughs> Yeah. Or longer further. Next month. It was in April, my bad. I'm thinking. Well, pretty much. We're almost there. Wait, isn't your birthday coming up too in April? April 13th, man. Airy season, you feel me? Hey, I'm a, but I'm gonna support the area. Yeah, but I'm I'm, I'm hearing I'm hearing some people saying it's gonna go until June. Some people saying it's April nineteenth. 
that people start, you know, go open and shit back up. So it's looking uh -huh. like I'm gonna be in the house. We could throw you a virtual party. That's what everybody's doing nowadays. Wow. You can invite Snoop, Wiz, <laughs> Mustard, <laughs> to join on the virtual birthday party. That'll be fun for sure. I think it'd be double. I feel like you've you've collaborated with like so many different artists. I honestly like I just try to think about like everyone I was like down. One I think that says a lot about you because I don't think that a lot of people just work with anyone. And yeah. I think that, that says it speaks highly of you and what people think about you as an artist. But for you personally, if you could collaborate with like top three artists that you've never collaborated with before. Who would they be? Damn, who have I never collaborated with? Uh, That's hard to even figure shit, out. I want to I wanna do a That's song with Playboy to... Cardi. I want to do a song with Playboy Cardi. We never did a song yet. Okay. Um, I want to do a song with Baby King. Baby King is my favorite artist right now. You heard of him? Okay. Have you heard of Baby King? My boyfriend's been talking about. Yeah, that yeah. motherfucker right there. He's so. And I like I like NBA YoungBoy a lot too. I could see that. I like that. What do you think about like this new generation of artists? I like that. Literally everybody that you named right now was from the new generation of artists. Yeah. Why is it important to support them for you? I mean, shit, it's music. At the end of the day, no matter if you're from the new generation or old generation, like, if you got the, the fire shit, I'm fucking with it. So, like, NBA just got, he remind me of Pop, fucking Baby King. He remind me, like, a Kendrick in a way, but, like, he got his own thing. Because I, I low-key hate when people compare me or, like, compare other artists. Like, they, they got their own shit for sure. It's just a new thing. And it's, like, always good when you find somebody that, is, is coming out and not trying to sound like what's going on. And I feel like a lot of people sound similar or, or even copy, you know what I'm saying? So it's refreshing to hear like an artist like NBA Youngboy, Baby King, fucking Playboy, you know? Have you been able to connect with any of them? Yeah, uh, I was recently in the studio with uh, Playboy and Post. Um, I haven't met Baby Keem yet, but then again, the homies told me I did meet him back in the day, but I just didn't know it was him. And then, and um, uh, I talked to the NBA young boy on IG, and we supposed to link up, but we just we just still haven't, cause that nigga might have a run, and you feel me? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Nick, right now everybody's dangerous. You gotta stay away. Social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you could give a piece of advice to like a younger guy or a younger artist from anything that you learned throughout your career, what would that be? Shit, uh, keep as much uh, of your publishing as you can, and um, shit, um, just try to fucking just be you and never like fold. Never like try to sound like another nigga, man, or never. Do what other people tell you is art at the end of the day. So, you know, just do you. Did you did you really meet Prince, Ty? I met Prince one time, like at this party. Um, I was with Kanye, and I think it was a Saturday Night Live party. Jay Z, Beyonce, everybody up in there. Uh, and then all of a sudden, Prince walked by. I looked. And then uh, he just walked on stage and took the guitar from Taylor Swift and started going crazy. So I actually got to see him perform, and that was, like, life-changing. You know what I'm saying? What? Wait, yeah. You got to see him perform, but I thought you actually met him. I don't know where I thought I saw him. You met him when you were uh, I met him another time at some party in, like, downtown. It was, like, a warehouse party. He came in, and I said, what's up? And he walked upstairs with some girls. <laughs> He's like, hello, bye bye. <laughs> yeah. What are some other artists that inspired you growing up? 
said, anything Death Pro, Snoop Dogg, Ice Cube, uh, all of the R and B. So like anything that Babyface produced, really, anything that uh, Teddy Roddy produced, the whole Puff, you know, Bad Boy time, like everything that was going on there. Uh, then shit, even when you get to the fucking like the Battle Cats, you feel me like on some production because like I make beats, so like Battle Cat, fucking Fred Wreck, all them dudes, you know, it's, it's so like everything. There's even like there's even house music that I love that, that inspires me. Like my bro Skrillex. Like back then when I first came out and I made Cabana, I had sampled Skrillex and Zed. And then they wouldn't clear it. So I had to remake the beat. And then Jeezy hopped on it for me. And we put that video. That was right when I got signed to Atlantic. And then now, Skrillex is my boy. We kick it. We make hella songs. We got nominated for a Grammy. Went to the Grammys together. All that shit. So it's crazy <laughs> how life works. Isn't it crazy how how much of an impact the music makes, though, on people? Like, I saw on TikTok, uh, I think it was LeBron family doing the challenge to something new. How's it going? The what? Uh, that means that your guys' track is coming back and just seeing people during this time have fun with it with LeBron, with J-Lo I saw too, Sierra. You checked it out already? Oh yeah, for sure. I just posted it the other day. Uh, it's it's amazing, man. We did that song like what two years ago. It had its run on radio, everything. Like it did what you it, it did what it does, and then two years later, it comes back on TikTok, and everybody's like, you know, at home, like <laughs> going crazy. So it's it's definitely a blessing. It's always fun to make music with my bro Wiz. That's like one of my best friends in life, and like he looked out at a at a time where you know. He changed my life for sure. So shout out to Wiz. And, uh, That's beautiful. Hitmaker, my bro. Hit, Hitmaker and Kashan. Right now, sound. Make a sound. Shit, we, we made like 100 songs, and I was one of them, and this shit went crazy. It's a blessing. Do you have any of the other songs like that? Like, 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 maybe take off You say what? Have you had any other tracks like that that maybe you didn't realize like how they were gonna take off and blow up bigger than you even imagined in the Yeah, like first of all, tooted and booted, if you wanna just go back to the beginning. That was like a song we made uh just in my room at the time. Really? Me and YG, like the third song we ever made. And for that to do with it, it did like hit him a deal and from there end up getting me a deal and you know that changed our lives and then psycho will post like one day he called me to come to his studio and we did that song and it was like a year later that it came out and it went crazy like, it actually went number one on the hot 100 so that was my first time as an artist getting a number one on the hot 100 and that was definitely life-changing as well that that is so beautiful to hear what about like I feel like a lot of people don't get to the hard work that just goes on behind. What are some struggles that you have to, that you overcome or do? So what? I can't, I can't hear you. I'm sorry, it went out. <laughs> what have been some of your struggles that you have ha had to overcome as an artist? Struggles that I had to overcome as an artist? Uh, none. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I don't struggle as an artist. That's like, that's the gift right there. And it just comes out naturally, you know what I'm saying? So luckily I haven't had to, you know, it's been good as far as that goes. I love it, Ty. Where are your tacos at right now? I'm ready to serve with mine. They're they, they done. They're they done. I'm just making this last shell and it's up. Look at my guac. I like it chunky. That shit looks fire. Look, look, I like look what I got. Chunky. <laughs> Ooh, you're at a restaurant. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm gonna serve up my tacos and then I'm gonna have my boyfriend try it. 
Oh, Hold up. Fuck, this one is tricky. It keeps on. <laughs> Alright, cool. My buckle. Might be on me. Shells. And. Walk. Chicasso. See? This is easy. The next thing I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna put the pizza. How to make that salsa. Yeah, for sure, please. I haven't cooked for her in a long time. She's too picky as hell. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's ready. You ready? I'm gonna start Yeah, I gotta, uh, I gotta going. take off some of this grease. I don't like all that grease. So you gotta put the snack in. <laughs> this cooking stuff is hard. This live. Yeah. Boom. I just realized that I just realized I low key got interviewed. You did. <laughs> I was never gonna do I was never gonna do an interview ever again. Unless really? unless it was probably with y'all. I feel so on <laughs> You see how I just went there? <laughs> why why didn't you want to do another <laughs> All right, so look, so look, so look. This is exactly what I was talking about. We got Mariana Garcia. She's on our heads talking about, I dislike white people. Those are not tacos. First of all, ain't nobody white up in here. Second, <laughs> these is what you call ghetto tacos. You feel me? <laughs> I got the sauce. I got the beyond meat. It's not even meat. You feel me? I got my sauces lined up, my motherfucking onions, avocados, lettuce, tomato, cheese and salmon because I'm, I'm I'm gonna have a salmon taco too you feel me <laughs> so show me what your tacos is looking like okay so here is my tacos and here's my box look first of all if anything I'd be the first one talking smack because I am Mexican there are different ways to make tacos okay you can have them at these are hard shell tacos and we're going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs> what you going to do, pull my Mexican card? <laughs> <laughs> not my fault the color not even my, my color not my <laughs> They thought you was a whitey. I get that all the time. Even even when I go to like the carnicera, the, mm -hmm. the people behind the, what is it called? Like the meat, what is it called? Not, not the meat counter. What is the, they have an actual name. Uh, not the butchers. What do you call them? I don't remember. Well, when I speak Spanish to them, they're like, ¿Hablas Español? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I speak Spanish. I understood everything you were saying. Stupid. It'd be our old people. Yeah. All right. Are your tacos for that? <laughs> she said, I'm white. I make fire tacos. I'll feed you. <laughs> Anybody can cook. It doesn't. People always want to put race into stuff. Yeah, all that color shit don't matter. Dummy. Food is food. All right. Boom. Are you ready to try these? Yeah, I'm ready to eat. Did we? Did you heat up that sandwich? No, that's not here. Oh, I heated that real quick. Do you guys have this your sauce? This shit is about to be so good. Ty, why did you say you never wanted to do another interview again? Because I hate them. Because you hate him. <laughs> yeah. I feel like, I feel like um, every question that anybody can ask me is already out. 
you know, to look it up. It's true. So it's like. You know what, though? But when it comes to your fans, I feel like they don't, they don't see that or they don't get stuck on that. Just hearing you, no matter how many times, I don't think they get tired of that. I'll tell you. But I hate so, it. Uh, I think I just got the final Thai interview in the world. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. I got. got this early. What'd you say? Todd Dillerson. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready. Is that a fish chip? Yep. That is dope. <laughs> That's the big ass fish tank. I need to get rich. <laughs> Why well, don't see any fish? <laughs> All right. He's getting ready to set. Let's go in. All right, let's do it. Right. Soon. Oh, You ready? Yeah. Oh, you already ready, ready. All ready. No, I'm almost there. I'll wait for you. The pressure's on. Yes. I should got that real hot stuff. Forgot one key ingredient. What? Serrano. Oh, hell no. Nah. What? Oh, I forgot. You like that watery ass, fake ass salsa. <laughs> 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 My bad. <laughs> you ain't ready for the key guys. This is how a real one spice it up. You feel me? That's better than the other one. <laughs> I'll accept you, Lula. Boom, look at this. Oh, I dropped some in my. How is it? Is it fun? Amazing. Mm. Y'all hear it? Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Well, shit, man, it's been real. I'm about to eat. Where's your shot? Where's your shot? Oh, shots, right? Fuck, I almost forgot. Go. This shit's so good. I can't even get up yet. <laughs> mm. Aziza. Mm hmm. I love you, friend. I wish I got a froze. Did you hear me? Tell me more. <laughs> he got a call. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Aziza's the snack queen. She will come back from France with a luggage full of snacks. <laughs> Every snack in the world you can think of. I knew you love all of it. I, I do. I can't even lie. He loves it too. I put him on now. The snack something. Oh, yeah. All this shit. Yeah. I'm going to put this 
Damn, I wish I had that one. That's the best. What are, what are you doing here? This mezcal that my boyfriend grabbed. I don't even like mezcal. Oh, yeah, I don't like it either. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I already know what you' about to say. Mm -hmm. You want to change her? Mm -hmm. What about the other that I got? What is it one now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is so bad. Is it Caesar taking a shot? Yeah, I'm gonna take a shot with y'all. <laughs> Who else is taking a shot? Nick is gonna take a shot. On a Tuesday, time is it? Wait, wait, he went to get me a chaser. <laughs> I need a chaser. Hi, Nick. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Enjoying these tacos? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm ready for my second one. Oh, damn, you're bad. Yeah, me too, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. Salud. Cheers, love. Salud. That's good stuff. Mm. Yes, yeah, Sersky. Oh! That was strong. Hi, dogs on so opioids. Much. Opioids hey, suck. Stick to the motherfucking greenery, you feel me? But also on top of that, it's not for everybody. <laughs> Bye, Ty. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye, Caesar. Bye.